Good morning. Thank you all for coming to the groundbreaking today for the loss at Avon. Uh, this is a very uh, joyous occasion for me. Sari Morris is my husband and I've watched him grow his business over the past few years. So this is a very momentous occasion for him. Uh, he's worked really hard to see his dream come true from being a civil engineer and now to being a developer in his city. Uh, Giving back to his city is very important to him, so creating quality housing is one of his missions under Ascension Capital Partners. Uh, I would like to welcome him this morning and say, if everybody can give him a nice round of applause and a good congratulations. We are very proud of our Newark native. <laughs> All right, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it's a little different when you sit on this side of the uh, podium, uh, specifically at the men's meeting when Raz be speaking and stuff. So, <laughs> but now, but thank you. Thank uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, this right here is uh, very important for me. Uh, it's very important for the community. Uh, one being that, you know, I want to be like an inspiration, right? And I want to inspire 2,000 to 3,000 more Newarkers like myself to be having groundbreakers over the next five to 10 years, right? Because as a community, in order for us to remain here and to have a, 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 a realistic stake and influence in our community, we have to own property. We have to provide jobs. We have to become the economic engine and not just talk about it, but actually be about it. Uh, so today right here is uh, very uh, momentous for myself and my family. Got my mother, my sister, my dad, everybody here, so my wife. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Uh, I, I'm very, very, very uh, elated and uh, I'm excited about the future of Newark and, you know, what I have coming up and what the community of Newark has coming up as well. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, hold on. One other thing, too. I'm sorry. I didn't see John over there. So my <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say uh, thanks to the uh, Councilman James, too, you know, who. Uh, we text often because <laughs> he's just making sure that everything in his ward is being done uh, and I'm very thankful for his help uh, the mayor's help and just the time they they've provided me over this over these past few years and kind of grew me to get to this point right here today so I just want to say thanks to them and the administration and everybody in Newark who was a part of this thank you very much Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so uh, the development is a, a six-unit development. It'll be two, three-family houses. It is an affordable development, and we're gearing it for people that are on Section 8, people who work market rate tenants, uh, people with disabilities, uh, you know, and, uh, and pretty much anybody, who in, the com anybody in the community uh, who is of need. Uh, we, we like to target families. For example, like this project here all consists of three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, wash and dryer hookup, stainless steel appliances. We like to put in like nice uh, hardwood or bamboo floors because it's very important for us Norkers uh, to want to live in a place where we care about. It's something that we can take pride in no matter if we own it or if we rent it. Oh yes, and in regards to uh, what it means to the area, I think, <laughs> I think this right here uh, represents a catalyst, right? You think, I, I would love for my development to be uh, something that can inspire and spur more development along these corridors, right? Because typically when you are in communities that are emerging and are developing, you know, we like to put a lot of focus on the downtown area, right? But the good thing about this administration is that they put just as much value, if not even more, in the wars and in the communities such as the Southwest, uh, uh, Central, you know, all of the different wards of the, of the city. So. You know, I think this right here is something that can be replicated throughout every ward in our city, you know, so that everyone can have a part, have an equitable stake in the development of our city. Okay, now we're going to call up Councilman James to give some remarks. Good morning, uh, Sari, your, your company. This is a phenomenal event. Uh, we have a lot of vacant lots in the city of Newark, so it's a pleasure and honor uh, today that we get to see groundbreaking and a completed project soon enough about improving the community. 
We talk about vacant lots, we talk about opportunities. We have to thank the mayor, the administration, municipal council, uh, but most importantly, Mr. Morris, for being professional, uh, getting this done, working through the red tape. And uh, I can't wait for the grand opening. Uh, and I'm glad we got in the ground before we got some snow on the ground because I know that would delay the project. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and let's, let's give you more opportunity in the South Ward, uh, not just the South Ward citywide. God bless you and your team. Let's keep building. Okay, I see the second half of ACP just arrived. Mr. Ryan Curran, would you like to come up and give a few words? Hey everyone, sorry, good seeing you. Uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks to the city for setting this up. Um, you know, Sari and I have worked for a couple of years trying to get this project in the ground, and we're finally there, and we're really excited to see where it goes. We're making great progress on construction, um, and Sari and I's kind of focus here and goal was to provide quality housing in the area, fair price, manage the properties well, uh, again, with a focus on just quality, affordable housing in the area. So uh, Sari and I have been working together for a couple of years, and we've I think we've accomplished that and we're looking forward to see what we can do in the future. Thank you. Next, I wanna call up Mayor Baraka to give a few words. Good morning, good morning. It's cold, but it's a great day out here. Just wanna congratulate Ascension Capital, Sari, Ryan, the, the what you're doing here today is remarkable. Uh, not only because it's a development in the South Ward. First of all, it's not his only development. It's just, he's done more. So it's, it's, you go down Clinton Avenue by, by Stratford, you see a, a property up there as well. So, uh, and he's, it seems like he's picking uh, the areas where we need it the most. Uh, he's going in and, he, and, he, and he's beginning to uh, blossom, you know, spread his wings like a peacock, be able to show everybody the work that he's able to do here in the city. We appreciate that, and we look forward to more and more and more work from you. The great thing about it is uh, I grew up on 10th Street between Madison and Clinton, which is a few clicks down the road from here. Uh, I actually used to hang out on Avon and 11th Street down there. The place used to be a pool hall, and right across there used to be a place called Yousef's Fish and Tate, Steak and Tate, excuse me. I used to hang out right in front of that place where housing is. So I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, familiar with Avon Avenue, this block here. And uh, it is interesting to be on a block where you grew up and hung, hung out and see a young man who you know in the city of Newark who've grown up in this community, who uh, you know uh, made his mark in this neighborhood and begun to be, do the development like this. This is exactly what we're trying to do in the city of Newark. You see young people who are growing up and being a part of this town. There's a lot of talk about Newarkers being driven out. This is an example of Newarkers pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. Uh, beginning to lay their stakes down in the city of Newark, buying property, building property, getting people to live in property at affordable rates. This is exactly what we're talking about. Congratulations to you, and I pray that you do many, many, many more projects like this. Thank you. If the media has any questions, we'll invite Sari and Ryan up to take a few questions from the media before we do the groundbreaking ceremony. Other projects in the pipeline, to my understanding, you're working on the city's first uh, container mm -hmm. park. Could you just talk about that a little bit? Uh, yes, um, we're working. Well, I'm working on the uh, first uh, multifamily container home housing project in the state of New Jersey. Uh, it's been approved uh, since last year. Uh, we've actually started some construction, uh, but right now we're in a, a, a time where we are looking to gear back up after the winter. Uh, so we're looking to start back rocking and rolling probably around like April, May, hopefully. And do you have a timeline on this project? Yeah, so this project right here, we, we, hope it, we hope it can be done by July, but we're pushing, you know, a month or two before that, hopefully. And for the mayor? How much more land like this? I mean, I'm sure there's probably plenty of it, but how much more land like this to be built is there in Newark? And how do you attract developers like Mr. Morris to come here and spend their time and their resources to do this? Well, the city has about uh, over a thousand vacant lots uh, uh, in the city. Um, we, that's why we began to push legislation around the land bank 
so we can be able to dispose of this property easier, quicker, without the bureaucracy of the city. Uh, get it in the hands of Newark residents and folks that want to do development, small developers who are trying to turn these lots into housing, into other uh, enterprises as well. So we are going to be aggressively involved in that. Uh, as soon as we get this uh, agreement signed, I would say in the next couple of months, we should be aggressively trying to turn some of these uh, lots over to people in this community. And uh, I don't think we have to attract the developers. I think they're here, right? So Sari is born and raised in the city. This is his community. And there are hundreds of people like him who want to do this. We meet with them regularly who are waiting uh, to be a part of the development process in the city of Newark. So we're not really thro throwing out, uh, you know, marketing tools to grab people from out outside of the city to develop. What we're really trying to do is encourage people in this community uh, to take a little bit of change that they have, uh, united with somebody else, buy a piece of property, and begin to develop some property in their own community. Uh, what's special about this project is that I grew up in this area. Um, and, you know, I was just a rip and run, you know, around the community. Uh, I used to go to school in the University High School. And just to come back, you know, s decades later and to have an impact on a, pro on a parcel that was vacant, you know, it feels good to be able to take something that was vacant and be able to put quality families in, in, and help people. Uh, Sari uh, brings hope, new families, folks back to this community. Livelihood, bustling activity. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, the, the real reduction of crime is development and people and presence. So, I mean, that, that helps this neighborhood tremendously. The mayor helped me from the very beginning. Uh, back in 2014, when he first you know, got in, uh, into office, uh, I was actually applying for the city to become a director of engineering. I was working at another engineering firm. And uh, so I came down and uh, met with the mayor. And uh, you know, I told him I wanted to do the director thing, and, but I also brought with me my plans to become a developer too. You know, so, you know, after meeting with the mayor, I showed him my container home vision. I showed my vision for, you know, doing real estate development, ground up projects. And he basically said, listen, don't worry about the director thing. Just do that and I'll support you wherever I can. We have classes all the time. I mean, Vest Newark uh, does, uh, you know, all kinds of classes around bonding, around uh, owning your own uh, business for men, for women. Uh, for small businesses, for companies. We do this regularly. Uh, we have regular men's meetings, women's meetings. We have family meetings. We have all kind of meetings trying to get people to do exactly what's being done here today. And Sari is just a great example. There are many, many more Saris around this city that are trying to do the same exact thing. He uh, uh, has uh, actually crossed the finish line on a few of these projects. So uh, I'm proud of the work that he's doing. I want I wanted so that I can have, you know, 500 more people like myself uh, doing the same thing I'm doing.